Hello, I'm Robbie Fowler and you're watching Redman TV. Okay, so I thought Paul did a fucking shit job of player ratings, so I'm going to go myself. Um, Mignolet, six, not a five. Um, he shouldn't have come out for that ball, he would have got a seven if it wasn't for that when he cleared Colo Torre out. Um, Joe Gomez, seven, because it's difficult to be a fucking kid playing right centre back of a three for the first time in a new team and then getting shifted to the centre of a three as well so I think you've got to give him a, a decent mark for that he's done really well in, in the change of position um, admittedly as Paul mentioned on his player ratings you know there was question marks over him defending during this their goal but you know other than that I thought he was pretty sound uh, Mamadou Sacco yeah six couple of nervy moments with him at the end of the game where the balls were getting looped over his head and he was sort of last man and it was a little bit nervous for me um, but moving forward there's some really bright sparks especially when he strived forward and then continued his run and you're like play it to Sacco play it to Sacco thankfully they never anyway because he kept his uh, kept his he kept his seven or his six whatever I gave him um, <laughs> right wing back Jordan I six didn't really do enough, I don't think, going forwards. Defensively, actually did quite well, I think. Tracked back a lot. Uh, Alberto Moreno, uh, six and a half, because I couldn't quite give him a seven. I don't want to give him a six. And I want to be different to Paul. Um, <laughs> Shit out! Shit out! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, 6.6. .6. We'll round that up to 6.6. .6. Um, Centre of the park, Rossiter, seven. You know what? He's come in. He looked like he'd been playing for us for a while now. Um First team player there, I think we've got one. Emery Chan, again, I'm going to give him a seven just because he got moved from pillar to post and he did all right. And then Coutinho, I think he's... I'm going to give him a six because he should have done better. That game was made for him to run. Um, now, there was times, obviously, at the post and stuff where he's done brilliantly, but there was too many occasions where he gave the ball away. Um, and he was... what. He was supposed to be the fulcrum of that side, and when it got to him, it tended to break down. And as such, I can't give him a seven. Uh, Adam Lalana, I'm gonna give him an eight because he scored. And then Divock Origi, I'm gonna give him a six because I think he was quite isolated. And I think it's a touch arse to give him a five because of that. Uh, substitutes, nah, I can't be asked with that shit. So there we go, that's my player ratings. If you agree or disagree, let me know in the comments section below. Of course, hashtag Team Chris if you think mine were right and Paul's were wrong. <laughs> let us know how many different ones Chris actually did to me, because I'm not sure there were that many different loads. I pretty much did everyone different. Yeah. Just to be pretty spiteful. Much. Pretty much. Yeah, I don't know. But about nine of the <laughs> eleven were probably different. Um there you go. Paul literally asked me to do an outro so that he could fuck control me. <laughs> anyway, we'll be doing a final word show on the RedbenTV.com. We've got loads coming up for the weekend against Norwich. We've got Jack Reeves talking Norwich City doing Liverpool player ratings. He's done a tactical anal analysis of Norwich, actually, which is a fantastic watch because he sent it over this morning. Um, seven minutes on how Norwich will be lining up, how they'll be attacking, how they'll be defending, who are their weaknesses, and who, if anyone... Is any, is any good basically um, he's fucking garbage stop, Norwich are just shit stop <laughs> in your lay it's five. Oh, yeah I know you know why because he killed Colo um, but then he should I don't know equally yeah we did no, 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 sorry, I'm getting dirty looks off camera. I agree that Mignolet should come out and should take out anyone in his way, but ultimately, if 